What is a digital native? To me, a digital native would be something like Tony Stark in Iron Man. He can not only manipulate technology, but create technology. And I would not be anywhere near that definition of a digital native. I, let's see, if I can mess around or play with technology, but it has to have an undo, undo button in order for me to do so because that way if I make a mistake, I can always go back or undo it. I can not be in fear of making mistakes and messing something up really badly. And that way I know I can play around with it. Um, I don't use technology any more than the next person. A laptop, a cell phone, iPod, this little flip video. Except I am having a lesson or teaching a lesson Monday where I embedded a everywhere or poll everywhere dot com poll into the PowerPoint that I'm using. I'm actually doing two polls and I'm hoping that the students will like the cell phone bit, but I'm not sure how well it'll go it will go or if they'll just think it's boring or trivial. But so far I've seen that maybe that is the ticket to get them involved in what they're learning right now. And are they digital natives? I'm not sure because I don't think many of them even have computers at home. And that's kind of the first step, I think, to becoming a digital native is to at least have a desktop that you can mess around with. But, you know, they carry their iPods around. Of course, they all have cell phones. But as for stuff that you can find on the internet, maybe not so much. I don't think they can really get into that. But just like this lesson coming up, I do plan on using technology within my own classroom in the future. Mostly, probably I'll use the polls again, or hopefully we can have some laptops brought in if I'm not at a school that assigns laptops to every student. Um, I just don't want to use too much technology because then it distracts or it can, poten can potentially distract from what I want them to really be getting at and they're too focused on just playing with the whatever piece of technology we have. Um, but I do have an idea for I would like to learn how to mess around with Flash, the Flash player, and create a little animated mascot for my classroom. That way, I'm not the only thing always teaching a lesson. Maybe he can teach a little lesson. I can animate him to maybe call out a student's name as a volunteer or something if they're there that day. And I think that would be something that would engage the students more, instead of me always being the one authority figure at the front of the room teaching that it's something else, something different. So, as a digital native overall, maybe I'm halfway there, or at least or maybe digital nativism has more to do with adaptability than actually just being born into the age where is accessible because I still don't think technology is accessible to everyone. So I have to say adaptability, being able to go in and knowing that you can use that undo button and absorbing the new technology and making it your own and I guess that's digital nativism to me.